Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Lynn. And y'all, my house is a mess. I was not able to film anything last week. Both of the grandkids have been sick. But they're now over it, so the house is a complete disaster. I am filming this on a Saturday. Actually, it's Saturday night. So I'm not sure what I'll get done tonight. So this may be a two-part video. Um, but the living room, I'll show you in a minute, is a disaster. Now, our grandson Harrison is here because it was his birthday. He turned eight. And he actually wanted to, today was his party. He wanted to come home with Granny and Grandpa, so we were like, uh, of course. So, I've been, we've been gone all day, and I hadn't done anything in the house. So, the living room is a complete wreck, and I'm going to show you that. And I want to show you what I'm going to do. So, hold on, let me turn you around. So, as you can see, um, the living room is wrecked what? and there's the birthday boy Harrison what? you gotta be kidding I'm making this show about the Harrison show yep what? I'm making my house and show so the living room is a mess we have a lot of boxes I had ordered from Amazon and my stuff come in today so I had ordered a bunch of nail polish Hold on. That's his huggy wuggy. If you turn his head around, he'd be creepy. Yep, he is creepy. Okay. So I had ordered nail polish that I got for Christmas. Not my Doritos. All of those. And um, Doritos. Yes, and we have Doritos. And I ordered these sparkly nail polishes and some nail brushes. And that's more sparkly nail polish because I'm not getting my nails done anymore because I want to do them at home. Um, I've been watching tutorials. These are, I don't know if you can see them good, the last set I did at home. And I think they look rather cute. Anyway, so I want to clean out this writing desk. And I ordered this off of Amazon. It is for, I don't know if you can see it good, it is for nail polish. So I'm going to put all my nail stuff right here and I can do all my nails right here because I really don't have another place for everything. So I'm thinking I'm going to put it right here at least for right now. So I'm going to work on getting this cleaned up and then the kids were here yesterday um, they're usually good about cleaning up their toys, however, I told them not to because I kind of want to organize this a little bit better after Christmas. I know it's been three weeks, but we've all been sick and I just hadn't got around to it. So I'm going to work on getting this living room organized and clean and getting all this up. So anyway, let's get started. From my given disaster Speed away from the holy mind Pride That's where I never thought it would matter If I'm gone by now All my weakness keep on linger, linger on On repeat like it will be my favorite song Oh, I know I should be moving, moving on But you got me Pretend, keep on driving and driving along the road to nothing. As my head don't feel my spark between the jars and bottle jar, just me and all the red lights. Keep on driving and driving. Keep on driving and driving 
So I was a little bit nervous that this um, nail supply, this nail hold, sorry, this fingernail polish holder wasn't going to fit under here, but it fits perfect. Um, and it held all my nail polish. I had to put a few little polishes at the bottom. Um, so it wasn't quite big enough, but it did turn out perfect and it's so cute. I love it. So this is my nail bar slash salon I have set up. I got all my nail polishes right there. Then I got my nail brushes to help do designs and a really good French tip. Uh, my, I got some hand lotion, some hand sanitizer, my cuticle oil, and then my nail polish removal. And I'm going to put my um, UV light in here. So I got my own little at-home nail salon set up. It's so cute. And most of those polishes come as a Christmas present. Then I ordered a few more and I just ordered that little stand from Amazon. It wasn't quite big enough, but it's okay. It'll do. I don't plan on ordering any more polish for a while. I think I got all the colors but anyway that's it set up and ready so let's get the rest of this place cleaned so it has been a minute since i have pulled out our chairs and cleaned behind them and you can really tell because it was so dirty back here um but thankfully bobby was home this day so he could help me pull the chairs out because these chairs are really heavy so um anyway we pulled the chairs out and we're cleaning real good back here um i did not mop this floor i should have but i didn't because um i was just lazy but i did sweep under um these rugs really good get the dust out and um vacuum the carpets really good i need to replace these carpets but i'm not going to at least not right now because um i just have these carpets here so they won't mess up with the linoleum on the floor and tear it because in jacob's room where he had his bed sorry in his old room where um kaylee and the girls are staying um where he had his bed in there it tore the linoleum so, and I did not want that to happen here because I don't have the money to replace these floors, at least not yet. And I think I'm going to replace them with linoleum instead of the wood planks because the linoleum is a little bit cheaper and it's easy to take care of. And if you spill water on it, you don't have to worry about it buckling and um, water getting in between the planks. And right now the kids are still little and you know things are still spilled but anyway so we're just going to uh, clean back here and then clean the other one really good and get it vacuumed and all the dust and cat hair um, from back here and then we're going to get the toys out and work on getting them organized <music> With 
I feel like breaking rules on the edge Looking out with no parachute You know I'm dreaming about us too Playing around without a clue On the edge, cleaning out With us it's all or nothing day we had filmed this was Harrison's birthday and it was like 40 something degrees outside so it was super super cold um and I had a sweater over this black shirt so I filmed this all in the same day um I'm sure y'all could have figured it out but I just wanted you to know that I had taken off that top sweater because it got hot well I got hot um Anyway, I'm hoping, 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 fingers crossed, that the coldest of our cold is over because for the last two weeks, it has been down in the teens at night and 40s during the day. And this week has been in the 70s. So, um, I'm hoping the coldest of our weather is over with. I know we will get some more cold days because it's not even, well, it's right here at February. So I'm hoping the coldest of our days are over with. We got to get through February and then it's going to start warming up and I am so excited. You don't hear me complain about the summer. We get so hot during the summer and it's high humidity, but I am not complaining at all because I can deal with the heat a whole lot better than I can deal with the cold. <coughs> Excuse me. And I'm hoping once the cold's over, the sickness will come to an end. The only thing we will have to deal with is pollen, which causes your sinuses to go crazy. But I can deal with sinuses a whole lot better than I can deal with the sickness that comes with the winter. Anyway, Harrison's over here helping me get this little corner cleaned up. Well, he's more of watching me, giving me advice. But help us help. And he's over here with me, being cute as a button, um, getting the toys cleaned up.
so glad that me and Bobby pulled these chairs out uh, and I got cleaned up back here. It looks so much better. The kids and stuff is a lot more organized now. It won't look like this very long because the kids are going to pull everything back out. But for right now, it looks better and it is organized and they like to play back here behind this chair. Uh, it Brinley does. It's like her little hideaway. It's so cute. But now I'm going to work on getting all these toys organized and throw some things out. I didn't throw a lot out, but I did get rid of some uh, little tiny pieces that went to nothing and got it cleaned up. And it looks so much better. has become a little catch-all so I need to find a place for everything up here and then wipe it down really good because I don't like things to be cluttered the tops of stuff to be cluttered because it, we live in a small home and I'm not complaining in any way whatsoever I'm so thankful for what we got but it's open concept and anytime anything gets on top of your kitchen counters or your TV stands it just makes the whole room look cluttered and messy so I am finding a place for everything so it makes the house look a little bit more cleaner sit beside you while you're going on about your simple life nothing left you thinking that maybe you're not different Go on, block your ego. our daughter and son-in-law gave us the ceiling fan they had gotten a new one for their home and this one still works but I don't think we're going to keep it. Um, I'm going to feel bad about uh, throwing it away. But I, we don't know how to put it up. And 
I don't really want to hire somebody to come do it because I don't think our ceiling is right for it. We would have to put in some brackets to hold it up. So I think what I'm going to do is just end up throwing this out. I'm not sure. I still got to think about it, but I'm tired of it being right there in the way and I don't have a place for it so I'm not real sure if anybody on here has put up ceiling fans um, the wiring part is going to be easy I know you turn the electricity off but you know the wires are pretty much the easy part I have seen that done before but um, if y'all know if they're easy to put up bracket wise and all that um, or if we're going to have to reinforce the ceiling where it's going to go. Um, let me know in the comments because I have no idea. And I don't know if it's going to be worth putting it up or if it's going to be going to be too much trouble. So leave me a comment and let me know if y'all have any idea because I'm at a loss. <coughs> Excuse me. I am still fighting this cough. Um, but I am in my living room sorry i am in my kitchen and i am going to get all this paper and old mail thrown away i don't know why i keep so much it's mostly junk mail um but i have to go through it and see what's good and not and i'm going to throw it out and i'm going to get this kitchen cleaned up and decluttered really good It never hit you Our conversation takes to Paying it some interest From time to time Inside all that greatness In all of your adventures You're all alone Hold up So I am done with everything i had thought i had film cleaning over there by the stove and oven but i guess i didn't so this is the end of this video uh, i hope you enjoyed i really am glad i got my living room cleaned up the way i did it looked so much better but i hope you enjoyed i hope you got some motivation if you haven't already i would love for you to subscribe and hit that little bell icon so you can get notific notifications when i upload new content and as always, thank you so much for watching and God bless.